project we're going to do today is a Super Sprint exhaust installation on a Cooper Works Cooper S. We're going to do a complete exhaust system. It already has the Cooper Works exhaust on it, but we'll see what the difference is and we'll show you how to install it and we'll have sound clips to go along with it. underneath this Cooper S and it's a pretty straightforward exhaust system it runs right down the center of the vehicle out the back it has a single muffler in the rear it has a resonator up front what's interesting about the system is the center pipe goes into a Y connector and then the muffler is two in and two out I don't like that design on the Super Sprint we've got a better design where we're going in with two and there's a larger Y section inside the muffler that splits out into two. It gives you a little bit more of a free flow Y characteristic right out the back of the vehicle. The can is also a crimp rolled edge design which if there's ever any leaks when these edges are not welded and it's just rolled over like a coffee can they will leak at some point. The nice thing is the exhaust is all stainless steel. Another thing that you might be aware is the factory tubing started off with 55 millimeter outside diameter and in some cases it's actually crushed down to 52 millimeter diameter tubing. The Super Sprint exhaust system is 60 millimeters from front to back. As we move forward you'll notice the resonator has the same design as the rear muffler. It's crimped edges folded over then we come forward and the thinnest part that I found, the most crushed component, is right under the subframe here where it actually goes down to about 52 millimeters. So when one piece of a pipe gets crushed down to 52, it's essentially no more free flowing than 52 millimeters from front to rear. Mini Coopers opted to use an accordion uh, thermocoupler here, which later on I'll show you what a thermocoupler uh, versus a ball socket design of a flex coupler should look like. And then they've got a typical V-shaped V-band that holds the two units together and then goes up to the up pipe. Okay, to install a new exhaust system, we've got to first remove the old one. We've got two hangers at the rear that we're going to pull off. We have a cross brace in the middle. Just in front of the resonator, we have two more hangers and then we got a V-band at the very front. These will come off with screwdrivers. Looks like we've got about a 10 millimeter bolt. There'll be four of them that hold the plate on, actually six. And then at the rear we can either take the brackets off the body or we can just slip the hangers off the hanger points. We've already removed the V-band at the front. Now we're going to remove these two hangers on each side. That can be done by prying gently against the sway bar with a large screwdriver or a pry bar. You'll do the same on the other side. And then we'll go to the back of the car and do two back there. Here we have the two exhaust systems side by side on the ground so we can do a little bit of comparisons. The factory exhaust is right here on the right side of the vehicle. We've got the Super Sprint exhaust system on the left side of the vehicle. A couple of differences that they have is the factory uses an accordion style coupler, flex coupler, that's designed to allow the engine to move independent of the exhaust. Super Sprint uses a ball socket design, which is far superior. It gives you a lot more movement. Obviously, when these bolts are tight, it's more resistance. 
And if a seal goes bad, the only thing you have to replace is the seal that fits right inside of this ball socket right here. When this unit goes bad, it breaks and you get an exhaust leak. Both systems are designed to use the factory V-band and there's a factory seal that you can uh, reuse if it's not damaged or you can purchase a new one. Super Sprint uses a steel band or a steel V-joint that's welded to a pipe. It appears that the factory use uh, uses just a, a pipe that's uh, molded on a molding machine to turn the pipe into a V-band <coughs> coupler. As we move down the pipe, you can see that the tubing is much larger on the Super Sprint. It's 60 millimeters versus 55. And this is the area right here where there's some serious crush in the pipe. It goes down to almost 52 millimeters right here. Uses the same factory hangers, same quality hangers. Both units are stainless steel. Now here's the difference we've got in resonators. We've got uh, Super Sprint uses a shorter resonator, gives you a little bit more sound. And you'll notice all the joints are welded, where the factory uses a crimped rolled edge design. The crimped old rolled edge design is a lot easier to assemble. It's basically done on a rolling a crimping machine. Uh, you will get some leakage. This material gets heated and it gets uh, bent pretty severely. And it'll typically get some cracks around the edges over a period of time. What Super Sprint offers is for a little bit more sound, you can eliminate the resonator and purchase just a connecting pipe. All components slip into each other and you receive built-in clamps. So they just slip over each other, you tighten the bolts, and it's a snug fit. You can see the factory unit uses a resonator that's about twice the size of the Super Sprint. So let's go to the back of the car and compare some more. Looking at the back of the system, You've got two mufflers. They look very similar in design. The Super Sprint uses a 60 millimeter tube. The factory uses the 55. Now if you're only going to replace the rear muffler for a little bit more sound, what you're going to want to do is use the adapter that's supplied by Super Sprint to reduce the 60 millimeter tube down to the 55. That's included with the kit. If you go with a complete catback system, you'll be replacing all of these components going from the downpipe from the turbocharger to the rear muffler. Then you'll select the optional straight through pipe or the resonator, depending on how much sound you want to have. If you want a little bit less sound, you go with the resonator. If you want more sound, you'll go with the connecting pipe. Looking at the rear muffler design, the factory rear muffler design has a single pipe going into a short Y pipe. That short Y pipe enters two single pipes inside the rear muffler. Super Sprint system has a single pipe going into the rear muffler and it has a Y section built into the muffler that is a longer Y section for smoother flow transitions. Both systems have polished stainless steel chrome plated tips. The Super Sprint system has two individual tips that exit the back of the vehicle in the same position as the factory units. Then we've got the factory hangers, same identical design, good quality design, strong hangers, and you use the factory hanger units. 